Global warming has caused drastic changes all over the world, and nowhere more evident than in the Arctic. Recently, Oregon Zoo team Courtney Kuiper visited Churchill, Canada to attend Polar Bear International's third annual Science Leadership Camp. We were up there to study the impacts of global warming on the polar bears and the Arctic and all the other animals and the environment up there. The weather in Churchill was pretty, it was cold compared to what we're used to here, but it wasn't as cold as it should be at that time of the year. When we were up there, we discovered that global warming is really affecting polar bears, ice especially. The ice is forming right now about a couple weeks later than usual. And with an average temperature increase of 4 to 7 degrees in northwestern Canada, there isn't as much sea ice as there used to be. There aren't as many polar bears either. The polar bears rely on the ice for food. That's how they catch their seals, which is what makes up most of their diet. So without the ice, they can't catch their seals. The disappearance of sea ice has led to some tragic and desperate consequences. The sea ice is melting sooner, which is that much shorter of a time that the polar bears are getting to eat. If they're really starving, they will go after and try to eat cubs that they can catch. But there is hope for the polar bears. There are things that people can do to help prevent global warming, things like recycling. If you do have to drive, try to drive a car that's better on gas. Anything that burns fossil fuels is putting out a lot of greenhouse gases, not helping any. And Courtney is doing her part to help save the bears. Uh, I was inspired by the trip. It really made me realize what is going on and the, that there is a problem. I'm doing a lot of displays for different groups of people here at the zoo, at schools, you know, of all different ages of people, and I'm just doing whatever I can to get the information out. I do think I am inspiring others, which is a really good feeling.